Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Gaston goes to school. Here, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. Ugh. Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow! That's amazing! I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <coughs> drop. <coughs> drop. Drop. <coughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <coughs> Sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. <coughs> I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby Bee. <laughs> hello, Bobby Bee. This is my pet, Archie the ant. <laughs> Hello, Archie. Hello there. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no. Gaston, spit Timmy out. Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? Whoa! <gasps> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly. Morning, Morning Miss Jolly! Everyone on time, good show! Well done, Archie. Nice posture, Stanley. <laughs> She's funny. Chin up, Bobby. That's better. Let's face the future like we mean it. Aha! A new pet. Wonderful. Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well, Now, Mr Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh, he never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Well, oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. 
That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel! Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! OK, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly-dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now, who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh! <laughs> She can lift really heavy things. Wow. wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh! Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Foo Foo can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present! Gaston, fetch my boot! Oh no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots! Drop! Hey. Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it. Gaston is now trained. Thank you, Miss Jolly. My pleasure. Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule. Show them who's boss. Yes, Miss Jolly. Bye. Doodle Pip. Bye, Bye Miss Jolly. Jolly. It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. <laughs> um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes, he can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness, are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. Good boy, Gaston. Drop. 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 Please. Ah, he's 
eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the lake. Elf Rescue! Aha! Nothing quite like sailing the high seas, eh, Nanny Plum? No, there's nothing quite as boring. Ha <laughs> ha! My little cherry blossom. I love it that you say what you mean. I don't like sailing in boats. They sink. Not my boat. It's unsinkable. Oops. What was that noise? I think we hit a rock. Ah! The boat is sinking. Never fear, Nanny Plum. I know just the people to call. Who's he calling? He's calling Elf Rescue. Elf Rescue? Elf Rescue? Hello! Redbeard here! My boat is sinking! I see you, Redbeard. Hang on! Elf Rescue are go! Calling all units to the lake! Redbeard's boat is sinking! Elf Rocket, A-OK! -okay. Elf Plane, A-OK! -okay. Elf Helicopter, A-OK! -okay. Elf Submarine, Okay. Elf rescue our go. Hang on. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Mr. Elf, lower the claw. Lowering claw. <laughs> Hold on. I'm lifting you up. Hooray! Gosh, that was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps! My favourite! Thank you so much! Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum! It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue! Thank you, Elf Rescue! Not at all! Whenever you need us, just call! Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lifts home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. 
Elf Rescue? Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue. I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. Ugh. <sighs> Elf Rescue! Ah, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. Ooh. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. A-OK! -okay. Lower the mole. Lowering mole. Launch mole. Launching mole. <laughs> Good. The mole can dig up the brambles. Don't worry, Mrs. Cow. We'll have you out of there in no time. Dum, la di dum. Elf Rescue! Help! Help me, Elf Rescue! Nanny Palum, I told you, Elf Rescue is for emergencies. This is an emergency. I'm stuck. Stuck with what? A tricky jigsaw? No, in the mud. Oh, Mr. Elf, you take over the cow rescue. I'll deal with Nanny Plum. Right o. I can't believe I got stuck in mud. What a day. Never mind. Elf Rescue will be here in a minute and then it'll be tea and biscuits on the ride home. So, you are stuck. Of course I'm stuck. What did you think? Can't you use magic to get yourself out? No, my wand's over there. I see. Where are Elf Rescue? Are there any biscuits left? We don't need a rocket to pull you out of a puddle, Nanny Plum. It's not a puddle. It's very deep mud. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just pull you out. Oh, it's very deep mud. Told you. No problem. I'll call Elf Rescue. Hello. Thank you for calling Elf Rescue. We're a bit busy right now. Please call back later. Are they coming? No. So what do we do now? Uh, shout for help. Help! 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 Listen, someone's shouting for help. Help! 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 They need rescuing. We can rescue them. We can be Children Rescue. Hooray! Children Rescue are go! Children Rescue! Thank goodness you're here! Are you stuck? Yes! Launch Gaston! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist! Keep still! OK! Lift Gaston! Lift! Arr. 
What about me? Oh, no! We won't get to the wise old elf in time! I know! I can magic him out of the mud! Oh, yes! Good idea, Holly! No, no, no! No magic! I want to be rescued properly! That is properly! Magic is cheating! Please let me use magic or we won't be able to get you out! No magic! Please! No, 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 no! Magic, please! <laughs> ah! Hooray! Well done, children rescue! Hello! You rang us, wise old elf! What seems to be the trouble? Ah, uh, nothing. Panic over. Wise old elf, you should know better than to call out elf rescue for no reason. But, but... It wasn't for no reason. Children rescue had to rescue us from the mud. Oh, in that case, I think everyone deserves a lift home. Oh, goody. Biscuits. Ah, oh, this is the way to travel. Got any more of those ginger snaps? Yes! Biscuits are go! Go, go, go! <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy's School. I knew this shortcut through the meadow wasn't a good idea. You'll be late for school, Lucy. Hehe, <laughs> but I love going this way. We might meet my little elf and fairy friends again. Lucy, the other day when we thought we saw elves and fairies, it was a very hot day and I'm afraid we let our imaginations run away with us. There really aren't any such things as fairies and elves. Good morning, Lucy's dad. Ah, uh, good morning, little elf. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Ben and Holly. Come on, Lucy. You'll be late for school. Uh, bye, little people. I'm going to school. It's nature day. Can we come? It'd be a brilliant adventure. Yes. No, no. I forbid it. Remember, we mustn't be seen by big people. But I've seen you, and so has my dad. But you're nice. It's just other big people we can't trust. Oh, don't worry. I'll go with them and we'll keep well hidden. Hooray! OK, but if you do get seen, pretend to be a toy. Like this. I'm a toy. Yes, yes, whatever. Come on, Lucy. Say goodbye to your, um, little friends. Yes, Daddy! Quick, into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad! <laughs> this is my school. Wow! So many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature, like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus. Auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness! I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. Oh no! Gaston smelt the bananas! He likes bananas! Gaston, here boy! Stop! Come back! Nature is all around us. Like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy! <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or you could call her a ladybug. 
And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Whose toy is this? Um, it's mine. Do you remember what our rule is? No toys in class. That's right. I'll pop the dolly in my drawer and you can have it back at the end of the lesson, all right? Yes, Miss Cookie. But, Miss Cookie, it was a real fairy. Thank you, Katie. Let's carry on, shall we? Ooh, what's this? She's got Nanny's wand. <laughs> it's sparkly. <laughs> That girl doesn't know she's doing magic. Miss Cookie, there's a frog on my desk. Oh, what? Oh, where did he spring from? Well, well, can anyone tell me what kind of animal a frog is? Meow. It's a kitten. It's not a kitten. Oh, my goodness, it is a kitten. We have to stop her. I'll do a spell to lift the wand out of her hand. Uh, Zooby Zooby's air float in the air. Oh dear, I didn't mean to lift her as well. Miss Cookie, Katie's out of her seat. Sit down, please, Katie. <laughs> Good, she's dropped the wand. I'll go and get it. Wait for me. Miss Cookie, there's an elf. Walking across my desk. Quick, pretend to be toys. What a pretty fairy doll. And a handsome elf. Are they yours as well, Lucy? Yes, Miss Cookie. I think I'll put these toys in the drawer as well. What are you two doing here? We tried to get your wand, but a boy saw us. Did you pretend to be toys? Yes, yes Nanny. Nanny. Good. Well, I think we've been very clever so far. No one knows we're not toys. But we're shut in the teacher's drawer. And we haven't got our wands. Yes. I think we'll have to call for a little help. Elf Rescue. Hello? Well, if it isn't Nanny Plum, let me guess. The big children have seen you, you've lost your wand, and you've been locked in a cupboard. No, you've got it all wrong. We've been locked in a drawer. Oh, all right. I suppose I'd better rescue you. Elf helicopter is go! I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Oh, bother. Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh. Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky, 
But oh no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Uh, guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf! Oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. No, I promise I won't tell anyone, any of my friends, that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you so much. Bye! Can I have my ladybird back? Your ladybird? OK. <coughs> By the way, he's a boy and he loves spaghetti bolognese. Don't you, Gaston? <coughs> Bye! Now I've seen everything. Cheerio! Hi, Dad! Hi, Lucy. Good day. <laughs> Great. So what did you do at school today? Uh, well... Bye, Lucy. Can we have our wands back? Of course. See you again soon. Cheerio, Lucy's dad. Uh, cheerio. You'll never in a million years guess what I saw today. An elf in a helicopter. Don't tell me. You've seen them too. Um, yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves, eh? Good idea. I think we got away with that. Only a couple of people saw us. Lucy. And her dad. And all her friends. And her teacher, thanks to the wise old elf. Yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves. Mm, yes. What's it worth? <laughs> <laughs>